we'll uh, fill this snapper now. Very similar to brim. It's a bit, bit of a larger fish, so the scales are going to be a bit tougher and the rib bones are going to be a bit tougher. Again, pick the fin up, push it forward, down to the gut cavity, move across to the top of the fish. With the bigger fish you'll find is a softer area just above the head up here. That's all flesh in up there. So I'll try and bring the knife forward of that and pick up that flesh in the fillet. Start there, flick a little scale off, get the knife started down the backbone. All the way down. You can feel it. Run your thumb up there. Hear it clicking when you get down to the backbone down there. You can push it over the top, out through the vent. You can see that? Push it down towards the tail of the fish. And have that there. What we'll do now, because this is a bit of a larger fish, we'll use our other knife. It's much broader across here, less flexible, a lot stronger across the back. We'll do this to cut the rib bones. Put the knife right up in there. Get the heel right up into that rib cage area. Down there, move it forward, tilting it back and forward, just cutting off those rib bones nice and clean. Take it out, lift the fillet up, just touch any little bits that are holding on. And there we have it. Take the skin off. A little bit of skin left there, finger on sliding back and forward, get that hand and the knuckles down level with the board just below it, get a nice flat blade. We've come to a situation now where the fillet is equal to the knife. We can do one or two things. We can move this the blade through here and take the top bit off, or we can change knives again, which can go to a much larger knife. This one's got an 8 inch blade, come through there, start again get it going, okay, get it nice and flat, push it through, we've done. Go back to our smaller fillet knife because it's got the nice little point in it, it's a bit firmer, we'll do the rib cage and the pin bones. Find the rib bones there, get that knife sliding down the back of them so you can feel them, trying to recover as much flesh as possible. Feel those pin bones, they come down to about there. Knife in, a couple of mil either side, one nice cut. Down to there, a couple of mil, one nice cut. Lift it up, and that's it. What we have now is a boneless, skinless piece of snapper into our saltwater rinse. And it's all nice, ready to cook any way we want to. Here we go, we'll do the other side of the snapper now. Lift that fin up, poke the point in right behind there. Come back through there. Over the top of the head, not forgetting this little soft bit up the front there. Add that onto the fillet. Go to the back, lift the scale off, tip of the knife down on the back of those rib bones, nicely forward, lift it up, get in there again, you can feel a knife running down that rib bone right to the edge, you can see it down there, when you reach the centre section, push it across all the way through the fish, down to the back, just to there. Now because this is a slightly larger fish and the blade's not suitable for going across, not only that, the rib cage is going to be a lot heavier. So we've gone to a heavier knife, heavier across the back there, not as flexible. We'll lift that up, put that heel of the knife right in against that rib cage in there, find the ribs, move it forward and just click them off, turn it over and fill it as out. Back to taking the skin off. Find that last bit at the end, 
fingers on, very careful, turn it down, move it forward, trying to get the blade parallel to the skin, knuckles below the board, moving forward. Now again, what we've got here is a fillet that's about as wide as the, the blade, so we'll change over to a, a longer blade, this one's about 8 inches long, put that in there, again getting it nice and parallel, moving it forward, and there we have that the fillet. Okay, go back to our favourite little knife, find the rib bones, stick them in just behind there, trying to keep as close as possible to those ribs all the way down. Now we'll do the pin bones, feel your finger all the way along, they're about there. A couple of mil either side, push it in, move it forward to the other side, move it forward, take that little bit out, one fillet. We'll move it over to our little wash, into the salt water, quick little rinse, and there we have our snapper fillet.